Aidy, you forgot to show us what is underneath the K-Pod cover. Let's have a look. Ta-da! That is the uh, Ellicraft K-Pod, described as a station control. Uh, I generally use that um, uh, knob in the centre for a second VFO. So um, going up and down the pile-up, uh, I use it as uh, VFO B. You can see uh, the switch beneath the um, knob is um, configurable to be uh, controlling VFO A, B or the RIT, XIT control. I tend to leave it in the VFO B configuration generally. You can see uh, four buttons uh, down each side. Each of those is a double press with the short and long press function. So 16 functions in all. The, uh, uh, each one of those button presses triggers a macro that you can write in software to do various things on the radio. For example, uh, you can have at the press of a button, the radio goes into diversity reception with um, two different antennas selected on uh, VFO A and B separately. Uh, I have the um, CQ call recorded, for example, on uh, F1, and uh, that, that's very useful in a contest situation. Uh, the, other, the other kind of things I do with it um, is, uh, say, in a, in a DX chasing, um, de-expedition pile-up situation, at one press of a button, I can uh, put the VFO A on the DX frequency, VFO B 5KC up or 10, depending on if I've done a long or short press, configures all the filters, locks the VFO A in place on the DX frequency, all at the press of a button. Of course, you can do all this on the front of the radio, but uh, it's much faster and much more convenient to just uh, trigger a macro with a switch. So that's the K-Pod. It's a little extra that um, I highly recommend from uh, Ellicraft. So sorry I missed that, but there you go.